welcome to another adventure with Silent Hunter 5. A World War II U-Boat simulation game. I just finished a patrol along the British coastal waters. Resupplied my U-Boat at a local German base. And now headed back to my own home base in German-occupied Lorient. It's about 6 a.m. and we've just entered the English Channel. I'm running with decks awash this morning. It reduces surface visibility. But it does more than that. It allows you to get hydrophone data on your strategy map. A hydrophone is an underwater microphone. Each hydrophone contact is displayed as a black line. And where the line fades is the approximate position of the boat. Placing a tick mark at the end of a line at two different times gives you a sense of their direction. And I'll use that to develop an approach. To get ahead of that cluster, I'll surface all the way and run at full speed. Surface the boat. We still can't see each other. Our boat is well beyond their visual range. I'll speed up time. There, we're far enough ahead now. I'll start turning directly into their path. They're directly in front of us now. But we still can't see them with the naked eye. The scope doesn't see them either, but a few more blips are starting to appear on the strategy map. I'll use those to refine my position. Clicking on a boat displays its course in degrees at upper left. 242 degrees. You can see the degree markings on my compass ruler as I draw the line. The second wave of blips are starting to appear behind the lead boat now. I'll add course lines for them as well. Based on the data I'm seeing, it looks like I need to move left. and position myself between the first and second lead boats. Let's speed up time again. Task force sighted. Airing eight, six. And make our turn. We're getting closer now. It's still early yet, but my anticipation is building. 
I'll reduce my speed. There's columns of smoke, barely visible, on the horizon. My first visual contact. I'd just been resupplied, so I have a full boat of torpedoes. I have three black electric torpedoes and one high-speed compressed air-driven torpedo in the forward tubes. The black torpedoes leave no bubble trail. Perfect for shooting far targets without alerting any boats nearby. Back to the attack scope. I've still got some time. Let's take a look from the air. My sub will be merging with this pack just to the left of that lead boat. More boats are appearing on the strategy map now. Their gray circles represent their visual range. Attacking the lead boat would be a waste of time, since it would alert the others to my presence, and they'd all change their course and speed. But when my sub gets to about here, I'll have three frontal targets. But the trick is to torpedo all three at around the same time. I have an idea how to do this, and can show the basic idea on this diagram. We have three ships at three different distances away, say, eight, twelve, and twenty units. How can we orchestrate a staggered firing so all three torpedoes hit at around the same time? The key is in their travel distances. If I shoot the first torpedo, then wait till it reaches a distance of A minus B, that's twenty minus twelve, or eight units away. I can fire the second one, and I'll wait till that reaches a distance of B minus C, or four units. At that point, the third torpedo and the two already fired are exactly the same distance away from their target, eight units in this diagram. But of course this diagram is an oversimplification. In reality, the ships will be angled in relationship to my sub, and most importantly, they will be moving. I'll try to account for that difference by firing the second and third torpedoes a bit early. I hope it'll work. We'll see in a moment. To pull this off, as a crew of one person, I'll need to use the game's time control to get the calculations done in time. And perhaps I can use my rear torpedo tube on that front boat as it passes me by. Let's start acquiring the targeting information. Closing to three. In the strategy map, click on a target and lock onto it. This also points the periscope. Clicking this icon identifies the boat type, lower right, a large steamer, and displays the boat profile at upper left. For maximum damage, you need to set the torpedo depth to hit the very bottom. Torpedo depth set to 7 meters. Magnetic detonator switch on. The second one is a Hog Island Type A freighter and has a shorter draft. Torpedo depth set to 5 meters. Magnetic detonator switched on. And my third frontal target 
which would be on my left side, is a Liberty Cargo. Those are huge. 7,000 tons. And I'll be optimistic and set up the rear torpedo tube for that front boat. Another Liberty cargo. Tube 5 is the rear torpedo tube. I'll open all the torpedo doors now, while I still have time. It's important to do as much preparation as you can before you get caught up in the firing solutions. Time will be in very short supply at that point. Flooding tube one. Flooding tube two. Flooding tube three. Now it's time to determine the speed of this convoy. I'll put a tick mark on this lead boat and then count off 60 seconds. to submerge. out a second tick mark and measure the distance. Three hundred meters in one minute. That amounts to a speed of ten knots. Shut down diesel engines. I'll add that to the firing solution soon. Now we wait. Getting closer. But not close enough. I'll speed up time again here. Perfect. This is it. Now, let's collect the final data for the torpedo data computer. The executive officer helps with that. Let's turn off time. My sub isn't facing these targets, so the TDC programs the torpedoes to turn and hit your moving target. First you measure its distance away. 2500 meters. So let's enter that. Now we need to measure the angle between the direction and travel of the ship and the bow of your sub. That's measured in degrees. 25 degrees. Okay. The TDC has plotted its yellow solution line on the map. For at least the first target, I like to draw a green circle at the projected point of impact. 
You'll see why this is helpful in a moment. The next few steps must be done quickly and correctly. I want to unpause time, press fire, then select the next torpedo tube, Closing tube one. then click the next target on the map, lock onto target it, marked. then pause again. Done. Now remember, we want all three of these targets to be torpedoed at around the same time. So let's do the A minus B subtraction now. The distance to the second target is 1400 meters. If I subtract that from 2500, that's 1100 meters. But these boats are coming toward me, so let's draw a circle something less, say 900 meters. Now let's wait for the torpedo to reach that distance. This is where having those electric torpedoes really helps. They leave no visible trail, so they should be completely undetected by that lead boat. Again, this is aimed toward that small green circle. Almost there. Okay, pause. Now let's do the measurement on the second target. Range is 1200 meters. By the way, all the data I'm keying is automatically entered into the TDC knobs above. If you prefer more realism, you can enter the data directly through those. And let's measure the angle. Seventeen degrees. Now it looks like the executive officer's estimate is already correct this time. Now, before we fire, let's measure the distance to the third boat. Eight hundred fifty meters. 1200 minus 850 is 350, but again this boat is coming closer toward me, so I'll draw a circle at 300. Firing tube 2. Closing tube 2. Getting very excited now. Tracking new target! <laughs> I don't need to recheck the bow profile here. I'm just getting. I'm just feeling too much adrenaline. Two, one, ready. Pause. Okay, I'll measure the range. Seven hundred meters. And let's get the angle. Twenty six degrees.
Okay. This is it. Firing two, three. Closing two, Let's go to the external camera and hope for the best. Let me hide these hydrophone lines so we can see what's going on on the mini-map. And let's get the external camera angled. There. We can see all three ships now. It's getting close. This is it. Did I miss all three? Torpedo impact. Torpedo impact. I think they were all within five seconds of each other. Let's take a quick look through the scope. forgot. My rear torpedo tube is prepped for a boat that passed behind me. I'll spare you the calculations on this one. It's time to get the heck out of here. Since none of the ships have sonar, I can run at full speed underwater without fear of being detected. Returning to course. Extreme speed ahead. Depth under keel is 48 meters, Captain. New death. Looks like I've gotten away. New death. Three, two. 